Anything interesting? I hope so, because otherwise we're wasting time. Oh. I told you this was the mini boss area. Kuh, you guys thought I was lying to you. Um. Oop. That wasn't much of a mini boss. Okay. Uh huh. Not seeing much to do in here. Let's see. No. No guys around here, right? Oh! Now I see. Oh! Hi! Nice to meet you, buddy. Ah. This is not quite as I had anticipated. Giant frog thing. Am I the only one who thinks this guy would not look out of place in the Pikmin game? I don't know. He looks kind of Pikminish to me. The giant frog lore. Or something along those lines. Alright. Oh, what are you doing? I don't remember you at all. Okay, when he jumps up like that, you want to make sure you're not staying in his path. Okay, now I remember this guy. You just have to wait for him to do that attack, and make sure you don't get hit by it, but use it to your advantage, certainly. And then rinse and repeat that, as far as I'm aware. I think maybe there's some stuff you have to do later involving bomb arrows. Oh, I think you can do that now, actually. Maybe just regular bombs. I don't need the arrow bit. Oh well, I'll try that out in a sec. First, tadpoles. Are these tadpoles? Yes, they are. Slice you! Slice your babies to death. Okay. And up he goes. Wait for the giant frog shadow. Get out of the way. It's probably a best idea to see, find, like, check out where his head is at that point. Excellent fighting skills there from Mr. Link. Think. Oop, not like that. There we go. Yeah, when he sticks his tongue out like that, you can throw a bomb into there and get a second round of attacks in. Can you get a third one in? Yes, I believe we can. As long as you have bombs, you're good to go with this guy, I'd say. There we go, you weren't so tough, but now you're oozing. Ugh. Oh, double ugh. Seriously. Ugh. I'm not sure I want to open this chest now, it's covered in frog vomit. Actually, I definitely want to open the chest because it contains the claw shot! This is a very, very fun little weapon right here. You might have, you might recall seeing around a lot of the places, uh, little sort of yellow and red dots. This is what this is, this is what they were hinting to. Come on now. In a really annoying location where I'm sort of just close enough to hit it, but not really. Uh, but yeah, so now we can get all of these things that we want and we'll be happy and free forever. Um, and this is how we're going to solve the rest of the dun- or the rest of the puzzles that we have throughout the entire dungeon. Weirdly enough. Anything of interest in here? I swear, if you're just rupees, you're just rupees and a heart. Well, at least I could use the heart. Um, any real point? Since there's only one left, I'll feel silly if I don't at least try this one. So let's see what's up here. Hopefully something cool. I really hope it's a piece of heart now, just to, like, reward me for going and checking the final thing. No, just rupees. It's a bit of a waste. Well, it's not a bit of a waste, I guess. At least I don't have a full wallet, but... Oh, well, I'd rather have a piece of heart than random money. But nonetheless, we now have a claw shot, which can do so many things. I love the claw shot. It's a great weapon. And item, just in general. Yeah. My face is itchy. I think it's the beard. But nevertheless, let's just go... Oh! Here's another thing we can do. The claw shot. <laughs> he's naked. He's completely naked, but he's still... He's still ferocious. But he's a bit easier to kill now. <laughs> because he's completely weak rather than only a little bit weak. 
That's fine with me. I'm fine with my enemies being completely, completely powerless. Okay, what can we do now in this room then? We can get to that, but that doesn't really seem to be very interesting. I think we can do something over here, which does look very, very interesting. Oh wait, maybe we can't. Hmm. No, I think we need higher water levels first. Yeah, we do. Okay, well now I know. Claw shot can also be used on random enemies to stun them. So that's useful, but honestly, the time it takes to use the claw shot, and it's not incredibly accurate, uh, I probably will never be using that. But if you're the kind of person who loves to stun lock enemies or some bizarre other thing along those lines, then feel free. Feel absolutely gosh darn free. I will not stop you. In fact, I will encourage you in every motion that you do with that, as long as it doesn't hurt people. Can't exactly condone that. But in any case, I'm rambling now. <laughs> Sorry about that. So let's head on our merry fashioned way back to the center and see what we can do around there. Uh, I think I quite want to go back to... Hmm. I think it will be going back this way, won't it? Um, I think I quite want to go back to that room where we first got the water flowing. See? Okay, so yeah, that's all the way up there now. And it's just splashing down fairly... Well, actually, not fairly uselessly, because it's filling up the bit in the center. Uh, what you can do... I didn't show this off with the levers, because I also can't right now. So never mind. But uh, you can also make sure that the staircase is going anywhere but where you are. Uh, and then jump down right into the bottom area, as you just saw. Uh, and where am I going here? I could go this way. Actually, I couldn't go this way. It doesn't get me anything. I'm wanting to go... Left, I think? No, that's where I just came from. Actually, I may still want to go... Actually, I think I do. Yeah, because that's where the water's flowing from, obviously. Uh, yeah, I want to go that way and just check about that chest we saw. Uh, I might just cut ahead to get to that room. Or maybe I'll show off all of the things that are going on between here and there, now that I've got the claw shot. Because things open up when you, when you get items in dungeons. It's pretty swell. Okay, so what have we got to take a peek at here? Uh, oh, I believe the claw shot can be used not only to grab onto those little blue... Oh, not little blue spot, Little yellow and red spots. You know, the only primary colours that aren't blue. Uh, but I believe you can also use them to... Yeah, you can use them to grapple onto vines. So, if you see a patch of vines that you can't get to, use the grappling! Or use the claw shot, even. Uh, and that's how you'll make your fortune, my son. Everyone will support you and be happy. I believe this, yes, this is where we're wanting to go. So, with that in mind, we'll go through that door. But why would we want to do that? That's lame. You know what we want to do is we want to head up this fancy looking thing. Uh, so, as you can see, if we run into it, immediate slip off. But how do we get up there? I hear you cry. And I'm wondering why I hear you cry about the exact same thing as earlier. Yes, yeah, so if we just put on our iron boots, we can wade up. It takes a while, but we can do it. But that's why those little slots exist on the wall, so that we can speed up the process quite, quite happily, eventually. Come on now, Link. Oh, come on. There we go. That's not how we go. There we go. Yeah, that just speeds things up for us a little bit. Not incredible amounts, but probably better than we've done just by doing this the whole way up. Go, Link, go! I can't run up here, can I? Oh. I can totally just run up here. Oh, crap! But it's a bad idea, because it's narrow. Okay. I'm just going to cut ahead to me reaching the top. We've reached our target. I can see another target that we can grapple onto. Not from here, though. Are you mad? I think we might need to grapple on from the center. Or maybe just... Okay, just a bit more. To the side, then. And that is how we claim... Ourselves a... 50... Screw you, game! 
Screw you! This was not worth the time it took to get back here. Back at the Not happy game. Whee! game. Whee! No. That was silly. Ah. I don't think I've ever heard somebody grumble on a water slide before, but first time for everything. Next time you find yourselves at your local water park, please just get in the, get in the slide, cross your arms and go. <laughs> Everyone will think you're hilarious, and then they'll wonder why they're listening to you on a water slide, and everyone will be a little bit concerned for everyone's sanity, and it'll be a right good old time. <laughs> That was terrible advice. I would not recommend following it even slightly. I forgot what was in this room up here. Is there anything cool? I really can't remember. Oh, you know, just the exact room we were just in, Joe. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut ahead to the middle room. That's that's all it takes. So, tick tight, go away. Tick tight, go away. Tick tack, go away. Tick tack, go away. Thank you. Uh, now, as you can see, I have a bit of a choice to make. I'm going to head down to the center because we can get back up there pretty quickly. And I haven't shown off anything down here yet, and I think there's some pretty important stuff down at the bottom. But we'll soon see if I'm wrong or not. Um, okay. Seems I'm quite distinctly wrong. I have wasted your time yet again. But in any case, um, this area is important to be able to get to. You need to be able to reach this section at least once or twice in your lifetime. Get some fish. Can we actually catch those fish? I think we can. I'm pretty sure we can actually catch those fish. Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm, I've got to try this out. Let's give it a go. Ah. Peaceful life of fishing in a temple. Who could ask for more? Nobody, that's who. Come on. You know you want to take it. Not like that, though. One more time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we'll be getting some interested little nibbles on that. This is how a hero completes a temple. Come on now. Yank it down. You know you wanna. Don't be afraid. It's not gonna hurt you. Although I might hurt you if I catch you because you're freaking with things. You. Come on now. Just pull it down. You wusses. Fine. You know what? Screw you guys. You're rubbish fish anyway. You're more skeleton than fish. It's creepy. This is why you need to be able to get to this platform. 20 whole rupees, man. Okay, what is there to do? Okay, we don't need to get to this layer of it then. That's a crap layer. Gee, I sure wish I could get to that get to that vines, get to those vines without having to go to the water. Oh, I can totally get to those vines without having to go in the water. Everybody's happy. Okay. So now that I've done that bit of silliness, I can slice this mother open. And, I believe this is the exact same thing I wanted to do anyway. Uh, we can use these grappling points ourselves. And twist the staircase to our will, even though we're missing the little handle. And now the water is flowing down the staircase. We can't get back up, which is a bit irritating, but as long as we turn the staircase around, we can still reach the upper levels. Uh, and now that we've done that, then this water wheel is turning and we can do all kinds of fun things. Isn't it grand, my friends? I don't know how that happened, but I'll accept it. And on to the last few rooms of the dungeon. Well, I say last few rooms. I think there's still quite a bit of the dungeon to go. Um, I mean, we haven't even found the compass yet, let alone the boss key. Uh, I'm going to un uncombo those bows and bombs and arrows, I think. Bows and bombs and booze and buzz. Okay, you can go away, please. Thank you. 
kindly. You can also use the claw shot, I believe, to kill peace. And similarly small enemies. But I might be wrong. You mainly can't use them because it's impossible to hit them. You can't kill them with the claw shot. Okay, screw it. I'm not even going to try anymore. See if I care. Yeah, if you fall down there, you're kind of in a bottomless pit. So I would recommend against it wherever possible. Is there actually anywhere I can go in this room with my available technologies? I'm beginning to think no. I'll give this a go, but I think this is just going to dangle me over a pit. Oh no, it dangles me over a little island. Yeah, I see you sneaking up. Yeah, as soon as I leave this menu, you get an attack, so yeah! That guy wasn't so tough. With that in mind, can we talk over to those? Yeah, we can talk over to those vines. No trouble at all. Huh. Not sure what you guys were so afraid of. Honestly. It was like way obvious I could get to that. Why did you even doubt it? Hmm. That's silliness. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was thinking, hang on, I can't king shot to an or claw shot to anything because there's this huge pillar in the way, but fortunately the huge pillar provided us with some handy dandy little vines that we can use. Man, I just I just cannot get over how much I like the claw shot. It's, it's so cool, man. That was a stupid idea. 